Okay, now that we know how to evaluate all of the different type of angles that I could possibly give you using the cast rule, referencing the 0 and 180 lines, okay, we're going to put it in some math problems. Okay, something like this, where you would be asked to simplify the expression. Okay, so you're going to have to figure out what each one of these values is and then simplify it. Okay. So, here we go. First of all, sine of 225 degrees. Once you get going with these, you're not going to have to draw it all out every time. Uh, for example, sine of 225, you're going to go all the, draw it, draw it all the way out, and you'd have to go like this, put in the 225 degrees, and then sit and think about, okay, how far is 225 degrees away from 180? Well, it's 45. Okay, so I'm taking the sine of 45 degrees, which is square root 2 over 2. And then I have to think about whether it's positive or negative. Well, only tan is positive in this quadrant, so this has to be negative. And once you get going with these, you're not have to, you don't have to go through this entire process every time. Okay, you just should have you know, on your page generally the, the quadrant with cast written in it in your special angles, and that should be enough to be able to do everything else in your head. Okay? On the bottom here, I have cos of 60 degrees. Okay, well, I don't really have to think about that one. Cos of 60 degrees this is in the first quadrant. All angles are positive in the first quadrant, so I just look at my special triangles. Cos of 60 is 1 over 2. Plus. Okay, sine of 45 degrees. And again, first quadrant, everything's positive. So sine of 45 degrees is square root 2 over 2. Okay. And then on the bottom, cos of 120. Okay. So 120 degrees, okay, right here in, in this quadrant, 120 is 60 away from 180. Okay, so I'm looking really at the cos of 60, which is 1 over 2. And then I have to look to see is Positive or negative? Well, cos is negative in this quadrant, so this is negative right here. A good habit to get into, okay, I have a negative number here in the denominator. What I really should be doing okay, is just taking this immediately from the denominator up to the numerator. And there we go. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can approach this. Okay, you can say both my denominators are the same. Okay, so I can simply add the two of them together, okay, or you can use your rule of dividing by a fraction, invert and multiply, and then simplify later. Uh, you're going to come up with the same answer either way, it's just whichever way you find easier. If we were to follow bed mass, it would tell us we have to do the multiplications first, or I guess a division. And we're going to change this division into a flip and multiply, so this becomes negative square root 2 over 2 times the inverse of this, or the reciprocal, sorry, which is 2 over 1, plus negative square root 2 over 2 times the reciprocal, which is 2 over 1. These are going to cancel out. So I'm going to be left with negative square root 2 plus a negative is going to give me subtract square root 2. So negative root 2, subtract another root 2, okay. simply negative 2 root 2. And we're done. Okay. One more example on the other board. Same procedure over here. You just go down through, figure out what the value of each thing. Sine of 150 degrees. Well, first of all, I think 150 degrees is 30 away from 180. So I'm really looking at the sine of 30 degrees, which is 1 half. Then I think, well, okay, 150 is in this quadrant. Sine is positive, so that stays positive. Multiply by cos of negative 60 degrees. Okay, negative 60 degrees is simply 
360 in the negative direction from zero, so in other words, 300 degrees. And same thing. So 300 degrees is 60 away from zero. So I'm really looking at the cos of 60. A cos of 60 is 1 over 2. And I look and say, what's positive? Well, cos is positive in this quadrant, so this stays positive. All right, so that part is done. Plus, cos of 30 degrees. You should be able to just go right to your special angles. Cos of 30 degrees is squared 3 over 2. Multiply by the sine of 60 degrees. Sine of 60 degrees, square root of 3 over 2. And first quadrant again, so everything's positive in the first quadrant. The same sign stays as positive. Okay. Bed mass tells us to do the multiplications first. 1 half times 1 half gives me 1 quarter. Plus, on the top, Square root of 3 times square root of 3 in the numerator here. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 gives you 3. Bottom 2 times 2 gives you 4. 1 quarter plus 3 quarters gives you 4 over 4 or 1. And we're done.